This is the Iowa Weather Report for Wednesday, December 2nd, 2015, and now our first look at the Zero ZGFS model run at noon today. We have this big upper level system finally slowly moving off into the Great Lakes in the northeast. It's still going to keep a few lingering clouds around with a few flurries in our northeastern counties, mainly in the morning hours, but that'll slowly move up into Wisconsin by at least midday into the afternoon. We should see partial sunshine in our western counties moving into the eastern counties by around sunset. Highs today in the 30s to around 40, cooler over the snowpack areas in the northwest, warmer in the south. Then tonight we'll have lows into the teens and 20s, especially colder in the snowpack areas. But tomorrow we'll see the sun coming back and that'll warm temperatures up into the 30s and lower 40s. And then we'll slowly see the temperatures increase as we move through the week. And into the weekend, you can see the winds beginning to come out of the south and west. That's going to really warm the temperatures up across the Plain states with that ridge building overhead. Some stormy activity across the Pacific Northwest, that's not going to be a problem for us at this point. You can still see a little bit of precipitation across Florida and across the North and West, but around here we just have the winds out of the South and West. One storm just flying across Canada, not going to bother us, although it will bring a little dip in temperatures toward the weekend, especially here on Sunday where we could see temperatures mm, maybe a few degrees cooler, maybe a couple more clouds around as there is a little bit of precipitation down across the Plain States. And then that sweeps across the south and the Tennessee River Valley as well with some precipitation there, but it still remains quiet here as we move into the early part of next week as well here on Monday. Still remaining somewhat warm, highs in the 30s and 40s, lows in the 20s, fairly quiet weather. Here's Tuesday, that system over the south begins to turn and move toward the north and east. Mm, there could be a little bit of snow, but it looks a little bit too warm. Maybe more snow up into the New England states there. We have another disturbance moving across that may be a weak system toward the middle of the week, but toward the middle to end of next week, this system that you see off to the west is one we're going to have to watch. And we'll keep watching as it's just outside the next seven-day period. But we have one small disturbance across the Ohio River Valley. Very little precipitation with it. The one over the northeast moving into the Canadian Maritimes. And the next one in the northwest, that's one we're going to have to watch as we move further into next week and into the following weekend. Because look what this shows. This is into the extended period around the 13th of December. Big trough. Look at it digging all the way down into northern old Mexico and then it sweeps up into this big upper level feature that's slow to move away. This looks to come through toward the end of next week and into the weekend. This would be the weekend after this one. And it's just going to bring a lot of cold air and it's going to dive it all the way across the western two-thirds of the country. And then by the time we get to the end of the period, we have a straight west-east flow Unfortunately, a lot of cold air is is pretty much all across the country, at least the northern half of the country at this point. So this will keep temperatures at least somewhat seasonal for the middle of December, maybe a bit quieter as the storm track looks to stay across the southern tier and then up the east coast. So it's just going to be fairly quiet, but things could change, so don't count this as a forecast just yet. Satellite image from last evening. Look at this flow coming straight out of the Pacific, across the south, up into the New England states. You can see the little curly cue over the state of Iowa. That's bringing low clouds, a few flurries, light snow showers. Some stormy weather out in the Pacific Northwest, where there's some winter weather advisories out there. Some flood issues possible and are occurring in the Appalachians, the southern Appalachians, up into the mid-Atlantic. But it's fairly calm and quiet elsewhere across the country at this point. But the QPF chart, it doesn't look very quiet. This is rainfall or precipitation through Sunday evening at 6 o'clock. Heaviest over the northwest, south Florida, and then a string up the east coast where they could get some rain and snow as well.